Um, my favourite tool is a digging trowel that my mum gave me for my birthday one year and it was quite expensive so it feels really really special and I cherish it. It's a, it's a, like a, it's a Japanese trowel and it's, um, you can dig with it, you can cut things with it um, and it's, it's just, it's a long handled, well it's a long bladed, short handled uh, trowel which I think is called a horror horror but somebody will probably tell me no, that's not the case. I've got a brilliant fork which I use for digging up potatoes and for turning over soil and pulling out weeds. I think that's my favourite. It was my granddad's as well, so it's um, it's quite emotive. And what's that? What do you use that for? I've got no idea. I cut the roots under the ground with it. It's nice and sharp. I can cut. I can cut anything with this. This is really sharp. I actually sharpen it. It was. It wasn't sharp. But no, I like the shape. I like the shape, and I like it's small. And I like you can have it in pocket, and you don't you don't cut yourself like a with knife, you know, because it's mm. kind of close shape. Favorite tool has to be the mattock. Um, if you don't know what a mattock is, it's like a, a it's a cross between a hoe and a, a pickaxe, and you can make very short work of uh, tilling soil. Um, it's a very heavy um, blade that you can just swing at the. Uh, at the ground, and the, the ground here is not giving. Oh, a hoe, because it's very good for keeping a large area well weeded very quickly, and it's a tool that perhaps isn't used as much as it might be. So I have bought a scrimmer, and I find that quite good fun because it seems to reduce the amount of time I used to spend cutting things back. I guess the most used one is a trowel, um, so that trowel is well travelled and yeah, I, I could, yeah, that's probably my favourite tool. Well, I've got a, a little fork uh, which used to belong to my father and um, I also remember using it as a child, so I, I've got that here. So I used to garden with this in my parents' garden and then I've obviously left home at 18 and I've inherited it in the last couple of years when my father passed away. I was, so I would have said I liked the spade, but um, no, I'd say my hands, because you, you weed, you pick, you pull, you make, you know, all the little sort of cages and the putting, and putting, you know, plants in and things like that. So yeah, I'd say my hands are my tools, but then they would be in my work as well, so hands. This is my fork that we bought when we first took on the club 20 years ago. It's small and it's light and it just really works well for me. I love it. Favourite tool? I have an, an onion hoe, which is fantastic. I think the tool I use the most is actually an old machete that I found and did up. It's, uh, it's just really useful for hacking back brambles. Uh, we've got between some of the plots uh, these sort of rough brambly hedges have grown up and always having to just fight fight that back and uh, the, yeah, the machete makes so sort of quick work of it. I do have a favourite tool. Can I we see it? What's it called? I don't can know we see it? <laughs> this is called a Japanese hori hori trowel. I think I might have read about it in the paper a year or two ago. Um, and bought it because I think a lot of allotment people can be a bit nerdy about tools um, but actually it's amazing I hardly ever use my trowel anymore it just goes straight into the earth and you can um, ease out weeds without disturbing the soil around it so it's really really handy. Mm -hmm.